Yeah, look, I suppose, look, we give away, um, we give away a couple of goals there to start the second half. And then we missed a couple of goal chances ourselves, but credit juice, like, Brecken's were very physical, very strong. I, I don't think people realise how strong they are on the tackle and the pace they moved the ball at. I remember I said, turn on, I said to Tom at one stage, my God, they don't solo the ball from one end of the field to the other. They just move it through the hands at such pace. It, they're, they're, they were a hard team to break down and credit due to them and, and best looked at him and the rest of their venture. You know, you, you mentioned goal chances, your own goal chances as well. They, look, on days like this, they have to be taken. Oh yeah, definitely, yeah. But you look, yeah. They have, yeah, but that just happens on the day. If you're lucky, they go in. If you're not, they don't. Simple as that. Just everyone was trying their best to get them in. <laughs> That's right, you know, so. As tough a day as this is, it, it won't detract from what has been a fantastic year for the club. Ah, I just said it to the lads there, sure. They were, they were, they were excellent. I think to, um, oh, geez, lads. <laughs> I think to win the intermediate this year was a huge goal for us, like, and. Uh, I said to the lads, this was icing on the cake, like, and it was absolutely icing on the cake. But they're a super bunch of lads, like they're a great bunch of lads. And uh, as we often said, coming from where we are, it's, it's, it's a huge achievement. And it was great there, and even like Alan Con- Condon spoke very well, you know, you know. And it's great to see him like at the end of it. Like, very disappointed, of course, but you know, great lads. Reflecting back, John, on three years, it has been a fantastic odyssey. Oh. And um, like you have two county titles, you've gone from junior, you've gone to senior. Very, very creditable performances in months. And today's defeat doesn't diminish in the slightest from that. Oh, sure. It's, it's, it's after being a dream three years, uh, I must have been the luckiest man that was ever born to be lender with the team. I was lender with three years ago. Like, the, um, uh, I, I don't know what to say on it, Matt. It was just, it's... Um, it was fantastic. Like the, you know, it was unbelievable to win the junior. We were so long trying to win a county, and then we won it. And then two years later, like to turn around and win the intermediate, it's brilliant. But they were always seemed to be good lads. They always seemed to look like they do well in intermediate. You know what I mean? So we kind of we myself and Tom Noonan met at the end of last year, like, and we said, you know, if we really give it everything this year, we reckon that they could win the intermediate, and and they proved us right, like so. Take a William break now and prepare for. Big one well, no, mate, I don't know, Christmas and everything is in between. We won't make any commitments here today, but yeah. I, I'll be honest about it. The three years I've done with the lads, I've absolutely really enjoyed it. I loved it, and, it, and all my family was very much involved with it, and like it's, uh, it, it was great to be involved in it. So, like, uh, we'll see now what way the direction the club wants to take, and sure, whatever. Masterminding two counties in three years, <laughs> you cannot go away from it at this stage. <laughs> Oh, well, I don't know, would you put it all down to me? Like, we had a great... Tom Noonan is a, a super man around football. Like, he doesn't... I don't think... He's never the man behind the microphone here. You you can't get him behind it, but... He, he's a, a super man. He's set up some... What he, like, what that man doesn't know about football is not talking about. Like, he's, he's after being absolutely excellent. We brought in Ollie McGrath this year. A Mitchell man for doing the, the coaching. And Ollie was super as well. And, and I think Margaret Hen and Norm McQuinn deserve fierce credit. Like, we were tormented with injuries with the last couple of years. In the injuries this year were nearly null and void. Like the, the the two women kept him in, in great shape and great order. Like and so it wouldn't. It's more than me, mess. I'm afraid. I'm afraid I can't take the credit for all these counties at all. There's a great backroom team there. Like they ju- they're just the ones that hide when the microphone appears. <laughs>